small ball podcast um this episode now I, I am doing one more podcast like one official podcast uh it's for the the youth lake uh preview so it'll be the beaver county fast pitch league uh preview um, and the idea of that is to just kind of review the rules the dates uh the plans for the championship tournaments and and any any rule changes or, or anything that that is of, of any interest with the parent so um We'll do that one here uh, once once we wrap up the meetings uh, and get everything ready. Then I'm going to have that show. So technically, that is my last podcast show. Due to the success of the softball preview show that I did, um, I came up with the idea of possibly doing this weekly recap, and I'm calling it the Varsity Softball Weekly Recap. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, if it may or may not become too much for me. It depends on how many games I get in during the week. Uh, but um, I think it's going to be doable, and I think it's going to be something that a lot of people uh, will be interested in. So if you don't know what Game Changer is, Game Changer is a team management tool that allows uh, coaches to um, communicate with the players, set schedules. You can set practice schedules or other events. Um, you can use it as a chat function. Uh, you, you can keep stats in it, so you'll do the games uh, and, and keep track of the games uh, from a scorekeeper standpoint. And it keeps tracks and log, uh, logs all the uh, stats. Uh, so um, it's it's a very useful tool. The other things that it allows you to do, um, it, it, it gives you the ability to live stream your game with the scoreboard overlay. Um, it has athlete profiles, so if you... Uh, have some if you have an athlete who's interested in college it gives them the ability to um, use that profile to to showcase what they can do um, not only the stats but also live video clips of them playing uh, if 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 they're interested in that um, it's easy to follow your team uh, and and it's always free for the coaches <clears throat> now what I've seen is there's five teams in Beaver County that do not utilize game changer if for whatever reasons, uh, it's not a, it's not a big deal. Um, but I'm using Game Changer as a way to keep an eye on girls and their performances. So when I have this Game Changer top performers list, it's pulled from Game Changer stat. So if your girl or daughter isn't in there, um, you know, it's because I just don't I don't know. There's no way for me to know unless I'm doing their game live or through Game Changer. There's really no way for me to know how their performance was that previous week. So so I bring to you the Game Changer top performers. Now the idea of this is I'm not going to go down and talk about all these. That would be pretty boring. Uh, but these are just the girls who really had great weeks in the week one. The There's four girls on this list here who are not on the under the radar list. Uh, but because they made a, such a big splash that first week I felt that uh, we should add them to it now the the next part of this segment is uh, the the BC BCSN top plays and what this is is just um, I pulled some of the plays that I felt were some of the better plays uh, just for this show um, and what I'm doing is is I'm sharing them on Instagram to the girls uh, just so they can have them or you know put them on their story whatever you do on those on their social media platforms uh, but if there are other highlights or clips that i didn't do or didn't create and you wanted just reach out to me uh, you can reach out to me through social media or uh, my email um and and uh ask and, and the only thing i'm asking right now depending on how fast this grows or how big this gets i may have a set fee for this stuff but um, if, if you want to do it just offer a donation to the network um, it helps me cover the the cost the monthly costs um, and like I said if it becomes too big then I'm gonna have to look into other alternatives but for right now just a, a simple donation to the network should be uh, more than enough to handle whatever it is I need to do um, so with that let's dive in to these top plays so the first game I did was against uh, Blackhawk against Central Valley. Okay, so the first play I'm playing here is um, this is Central Valley and Blackhawk. There is there's a runner on first, uh, and and this batter is going to bunt, which she lays down a good bunt. The play is at first, which is cool, and then you can see that the girl on second turned around 
second team watching a Cotton run down. So this was a in the book a, a double play by Blackhawk. So that was that was nicely executed. It's always cool to get a double play in softball. Now this is a triple by Jaden Patterson. Um, it's a really nice hit. You can see that the left fielder was was playing um, a little bit out of position, uh, but uh, you know Jaden hustles around the third and, and makes a nice slide in the third base. So uh, that is her triple. You know my daughter Macy, uh, but her speed is just insane. Uh, she's very frustrating for some of these defenders because she beats these throws out. But if you watch um, the third baseman, she makes a nice play and then she takes an extra step before she throws and that's enough for Macy to be safe. Now there was a very similar play later in that game um, to the third baseman and she made the adjustment where she didn't have that stutter step and she and she actually threw, threw Macy out. So um, you know that, that's what you want to do. You want to make your game adjustments, learn from your previous play, and make sure you're getting better as a player uh, as the game goes along. Um, the next highlight is uh, Mia Schroeder. She really rips this ball past the pitcher uh, for an RBI uh, single. Uh, she had a big day uh, going three for three. She's one of the game changer top performers. And then we have the next game we played was New Brighton at Rochester. And this girl here, Sunday Fazio, uh, um, I didn't hear about her. I, didn't, I don't know who she was. So um, she had a really big, big game. Um, she was also one of the game changer top performers. Um, but this was her double that led off that game. So if you guys don't know, uh, this guy here, John Tucci, was at this uh, Hope Ball and Ambridge game. Um, and this this guy's a trip, man. He's been doing this for for years. I I remember him doing this in eight U tournaments that I've coached, so it's been a good ten years that that I know him been doing this. So he may have been longer than that, uh, but he, he's a real good guy. He, he really honors honors the flag, and and uh, you know he does a lot of good things at Robert Morris as well. So it was pretty cool seeing him here, and I didn't know he was going to be there. It was completely a surprise. So it was a pretty cool opportunity to to stream what he does uh, for the girls. Um, now we're going to get into the Hopo game, which there was a bit more highlights here. This was Ava Compton, who had a really nice opposite field hit. Now there's a girl on the second here. And whenever there's a girl on base, you always want to try to hit behind the runners. And this one here, she hit between the first and second baseman, which was just a, a nice shot. And it was good enough to make that runner score. So that was an RBI single. Nice job on that one. Um, then we have uh, Chloe Nail, who she this was the leadoff of the first first batter of the game, and she crushed this ball. It was a couple feet short of a home run. Um, now the one thing I do want to point out here, and just just to kind of help the girls a little bit, um, but if you watch um, Chloe at this point, she should be picking up her third base coach, and third base coach should tell her what she needs to do. Um, but if you notice. When she gets to second, she looks over her shoulder and to see where the play's at. Um, when I coach, I always taught my girls that when you get to that second base, you know, glance over at your third base coach so they can tell you what, what, what they need you to do. And, and uh, it didn't really impact her here, uh, but, uh, you know, taking your eye off of the, off of your base could potentially slow you down a little bit, especially if you're looking over your shoulder and you want to try not to do that. His next play, one thing that a, a lot of coaches, at least at the high school level, I don't think teach this as much as they should, but Mackenzie Kieber plays this ball really well. Um, when you're playing the infield, you always want to keep those feet moving. You don't want to wait for that ball to come to you. Um, you want to go after it. And this ball wasn't really hard hit, so Mackenzie really played this nice tacking the ball. And she, you can see where she made the catch to where she threw it. She covered a good six, eight feet, a, a good way to play defense in the infield. So that, that was a really impressive play that I wanted to highlight. Then of course, uh, Maya Parrish, um, she's had two really good games this week. Um, she's a game changer, top performer, but uh, um, she's, she's pitching really well. Um, against Amber, she had a no hitter. She had faced uh, nine batters. Uh, they played uh, Mercy Rule, so it was only three innings that they played. 
Um, but she faced nine batters and she struck out seven of them. So um, this was a nasty curveball she threw. And uh, she's, uh, she's looking really good this year. Okay, so that's all my highlights. Uh, now this coming week, um, I don't believe I'm going to do any streaming this week. Um, my daughter's team is going down to Myrtle Beach, so we're we're driving down on Wednesday. May live stream one of the games down in Myrtle Beach. I'm still kind of de deciding. I'm going to bring all my stuff with me and see how things are down there. Um, I really don't know what the complex is like or or how it would work. So, um, or even if I'm allowed to do it, I really don't know. Uh, but I may bring my stuff with me, and I may pop up live here um, at some point. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. It's uh, YouTube.com um, at sign BC Softball Network. Um, subscribe to it. Um, click on the bell for notifications. That way, anytime I uh, start a live stream, you'll get notified. Uh, and and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and, and uh, you know I appreciate all the feedback and all the good comments coming in um, this has gotten a little bit bigger faster than I thought it would um, so it's it's pretty exciting um, and like I said this year just kind of bear with me and be patient um, as I go through this season because this season was really supposed to be like a trial run to see how things go so I'm kind of ahead of the game so bear with me trying to figure out the best way to do things and what works and what doesn't work and, and of course you know the the heavy dose of central valley uh you know this year and next year we'll, we'll spread it out a little bit more before so okay that's it my name is bill Whitler. thanks for all the support and we'll catch you next time